We learned over there in the Mishnah Shekalim. If you have a Bema which is fitting for a Korban, which is found between Yerushalayim and Migdal Eder, or in the Merchak of Yerushalayim to every single direction, so we're going to suspect that maybe it came out from Yerushalayim, and the majority of them are going to be Korbanot. And therefore, if it's going to be Zechanim, it's going to be an Ola, because the majority are going to be Olot. Nekevot, if it's going to be females, so they cannot be an Ola, because an Ola has to be a male. So Ziv Cheshlamim, right? Because a Nekeva is not kosher for an Ola. Ela Zechanim Olot, who they have, Ziv Cheshlamim no have. It says again, what? They have to, meaning a Zachar could be both. A Nekeva cannot be an Ola, but a Zachar could be an Ola, and it could also be a Ziv Cheshlamim. So why do we say that if it's a Zachar, for sure it's an Ola? And if it's a nekeva, for sure it's a ziv cheshlamim. No. If it's a zachar, it could be both. If it's a nekeva, it has to be a ziv cheshlamim, because it's not an olah. So Amar Ravoshia, Ravoshia answers, Hacha beba lechu bidmehen askinan. Here we're dealing with a case where a person is going to be mekabel al atzmo to give a gdesh from the money of a behema that he found. So therefore, the behema that he found, for sure it's not going to be brought on its own, because it's a fake, which korban is it? And we already said, so obviously you can do it. But it's some of the money. The hachi kamar. So those women say, Chayshin and Shem Olot. If it's a male, we're going to suspect that maybe it's an Ola. And Rabbi Midi, the Amarek Desh, the Mezili Yitchalel. And therefore, it goes, since it goes according to Shidat Rabbi Midi, he says that you could take out the Amarek Desh, to Chulin be Mezid. Okay? And therefore, it could be Motsi le Chulin, also the Behemot, which are going to be found, and it's going to be Mitchalel al Kesef. So says the Gemara, Ugdushat Aguf. Can a person come and take out chulin so from something that has kiddushat aguf and not only kiddushat damin? Because behemat korban, right? Unless it has a mum, right? It's kadosh beguf bedamin. Meaning like this: you have a korban, right? A, a korban, yeah. That now, so he comes and he says in the Mishnah, "En moel moel achar moel mimukdashim." A person is not cannot be mitchayav meila on something that's already a meila. Right? Ela barado, the behema of a klisharet bivad, only in an animal, right, of a korban and a klisharet. Kate said, what's the case? Ayad ochel al gabe behema. Imagine right now you're riding on an animal of a korban. And then bachav it over the chav, and your friend does it. Bachav it over the kula ma'alu, all them do mila. So imagine, you have a behema of, of a korban. One person goes on it, mila. Second person goes, rides on it, mila. Third person rides on it, mila. Kula ma'alu. Shaya shote bekosh al zahab. Imagine right now you're drinking in a kos shel zahav, a golden cup, which is klesh aret, also, and is used in the Beit HaMikdash. First person drinks. His friend comes, he also drinks. His friend comes, also drinks. Kula ma'alu. All of them did mila. Mila is on all of them. <coughs> so it comes out that kidushat aguf, for example, behema, is not going to be mitchalet. So how could he come and he say that it's going to be mitchalet even on a behema t'mima, right, on a regular behema, that doesn't have any blemish. It doesn't work. Answers the Gemara here of Yudah. That is the Shita of Rabbi Yudah. And the other one is Shita of Rabbi Meir. Meaning, the Shita of Rabbi, Meir, Rabbi Yudah was, is that the Hekdesh Ragil, you cannot have Mila Achar Mila. Because once it goes, goes out to Chulin, so that's it. There's nothing else. But according to Shita of Rabbi Meir, if there is going to be a Mila Achar Mila, there's Hekdesh Mitchalel B'Mezid, and you could still say that Kedushat Akuf is Mitchalel B'Mezid. So says the Gemara, Mid Rabbi Yudah Nishma, Le Right? So Rabbi Yudah, Mid Rabbi Yudah, Nishman Rabbi Mir, Lavam Rabbi Yudah, then Rabbi Yudah say, Hegdesh Pegufo, right? We're talking about now Hegdesh, Beshogeg, Mitchalel, Gdushat Aguf, Lo Mitchala, and Gdushat Aguf is not going to be Chal. So he says, and according to Rabbi Mir, Nami, Afa be the Afa Gav the Hegdesh, the Mizim Mitchalel, Kidushat Aguf, right? Lo Mitchala. So answers Gemara Hatan Lokom Echaven Lapkun and Lechulin. There he didn't have Kavana to take it out to Chulin. Hacha here Kam Echaven Lapkun and Lechulin. Right there you did have the Kavana to take it out in Chulin. Okay. Imad the Shamal El Rabbi Meir. When we heard this Shita of Rabbi Meir that it's going to be Mitchalel like Desh BeMezid is only in Kotech Kadashim. Which is going to be kotche be the kabayit or korbanot, you know, olah, hatat, all these things. 
because all of them are gavoa. But there's no chelik, you know, between Adam. The kadoshim kalim yisham le bedu by kadoshim kalim. Where would you say that? Remember, kadoshim kalim is not the same as kadosh kadosh kadoshim. So says the Gemara. Amale ahu merabanan merab Yaakov shene. So says the Rabbi, and his name was Yaakov. Kal vachomer kadosh kadoshim mitchalim kadoshim kalim lekadosh. It's a kal vachomer. If you're going to tell me kadosh kadoshim, you're going to be mitchalel according to Shita Rabbeinu, and the kedusha is much more chamur. So kadoshim kalim kadosh kadoshim is going to be mitchalel. So Yitzman Nami was also stated in Rechama, Bar Reukva, says Rechama Hurma, Rabbi Yosef Rechalina, Omer Ya Rabbi Mir, Rabbi Mir used to say, Hegdesh b'mezid mitchalel b'shogeg and mitchalel, Echad Kodshet, it's the same thing. Meaning, going to Shittat Rabbi Mir, Selam Mishos, it's a bit of a good thing. Right? Echad Kodshet Kadashim, Echad Kadashim Kalim. Kal Vachomer, Kadashim Kadashim Mitchalim, Kadashim Kalim, no Kol Kodshet, obviously it's going to be the same thing. Right? Nun Heya Mubet, 55b. So Tai Bar Rabbi Yochanan, so Rabbi Yochanan comes and he was mayen in these words, and he says, do we come and tell a person to make a chet in order that somebody else to fix somebody else's kiddushat a korban? Meaning like this, I never tell a person to sin, right? I never tell a person to sin in order to be mezaket someone. So here, Kilu, you're coming and telling him, do it be mezid, oto, right? In order to take away the kiddushat a korban. You don't say a person to sin in order to shetizke. In Amar of Yochran, but rather of Yochran says, Mamtin la'ad shetumam, you're right. You have to wait until it gets a blemish, a moon. Umayti shte behemot, and then you bring two different behemot, right? Which one of them is going to be for an olah, one of them for shlamun. Umatne, and you're going to make a condition. If the one that was found is an olah, so this is an olah, and the other one is shlamin and nedvah. And if the one that you found was a shlamin, so this is a shlamin, another one is an olah and nedvah. Okay, that's why you do it. So you you basically cover all grounds. You bring two animals and you make a condition. If I found was an ola, this is an ola, the friend is going to be a shlamim. If I found a shlamim, this is a shlamim, and the other one is a ola And that's it. Fine. Next, nekuda. Amar Mor, Mor says, zikharim. What happens if you found a male? So they're going to be probably a, an ola. Dilma toda. says, why do you say that a male is a korban ola? Maybe it's a korban toda. So says the Gemara, you're right. You're talking about also, you bring a korban toda as well. So you're bringing three korbanot. An ola, shlamim, and a toda. So says the Gemara, one second. Korban toda, what do you bring with a korban toda? Hello? Wow, when what? What do you bring with a korban toda? Ma ta mevim korban toda? Lechamim. Arbaim lechamim. Says the Gemara, vabai lechem. Ta tzarich lechem. Efo lechamim? Ma? No, korban toda, זה מתי שאתה צריך להביא קורבן תודה. לא, זה קורבן שתי הלחם. אתה צודק, יש קורבן שנקראת שתי הלחם. קורבן שתי הלחם, שתיים, שתי הלחם. קורבן שתי הלחם זה בשבועות. כל קורבן תודה, למה ארבעים מלחמים? כנגד... לא, בגלל הם רוצים שאתה תביא המון אנשים להגיד תודה לקורש ברוך הוא. אז למה הם עשו על פת? מה? כן, אבל ממש המון אנשים. כן, אבל זה המון אנשים. אתה יודע מה זה המון? בסדר, זה מספר, זה עשר קבוצות של ארבע. ארבע קבוצות של עשר. ראית, אבל הכוונה, כן, זה עשר, כן, שלושים מצות, עשר חמץ, כן? אז מה, אבל, what's the, 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 but he says, you need לחם. אנסו זמנה, you brought לחם. So ask the גמנה, fine, דין מה שם הוא, maybe it's called בנשה. We you found, we said it was a lola. Then we said maybe it was a שלמים. Then we said, maybe it's going to be a toda. Ah, you brought the bread. Maybe it's an asham. Says, you know, asham is a ben shte shanim. You know that a korban asham has to be a two-year-old. Right? Just like it's brought down by asham bezlot, asham ilot, asham shavu vubah. Says, an ayil, which is a keves bishnato ashniya. He ishtakach ben shana. But this was a keves of a one-year-old. So you know that it was not an asham. Meaning, lefi agil, you know if it's an asham or not an asham. An asham has to be a guilt offering, has to be shnatayim, an ayil. If it's a keves, it's a shana, so you already know that it's not a, a korban asham. So says the Gemara, maybe it's an asham etzora, or a sham nazir. And there, you do bring a keves, and it's an asham etzora, a sham nazir. Uh, what? Keves in shana. Keves in shana. Velo an ayil, which is ben shnatayim. And so the Gemara, lo shkich, it's not shkich. And therefore, we're not going to suspect. That means these two ashamot of, an, of a metzora or a nazir is not common. So it's not like an asham, all the other ashams guilt offering. So says Gemara, okay, fine, maybe it's a Pesach, Korban Pesach. A Korban Pesach is brought with the Keves, Keves ben Shenatol. 
What? So says the Gemara Pesach. Mizmano. So the Gemara Mizar Zehire Be. When the Korban Pesach is going to be as long as it wasn't over the Zman of a Kravato, so ever it's fitting for the Korban Pesach, Mizar Zehire Be. You're going to be very very careful. Shelo Mizmano. If it's going to be after the Zman of Kravato Pesach, that you know you. So it's a Shlamim. So therefore, again, it's a Shlamim. It's not going to be a. a it's not going to be a Pesach. It's a Shlamim. Was remember the Korban Pesach is like a Korban Shlamim. So ask the Gemara Vedilma Bechor Maaser Nino. Maybe it's considered a Bechor. Or maaser, maaser bema, or bechor. A bechor is the firstborn. It's going to be a male, right? And the maaser bema. So says Gemara, "Ma yichla? What's the nafkamina? Le mechlinu b'man to eat it when it gets a mum. Hachanam is sotu yer mum mitzich. You can also eat it with a mum. So okay, nekuda. Next, Amar Mor nekevot. When we said if it's a female, it's a zivchesh lamim. Says the Gemara, maybe it's a toda because a toda could also be a female. And so the Gemara, you brought a toda. So ask the Gemara, you need the bread. And says so, you brought the bread. Mighty lechem. So I asked the Gemara, okay, fine. So that means one more time. You have a female. It's either zivche shlamim or toda. And you brought the toda and you brought the bread. So maybe it's a chatat. So I answer the Gemara, a chatat is bat shnata. A chatat for a female oh, is a kisba, not a kesef. Kesef is a male, which is betoch hashana. Ay is a chare shana. And here it's a kisba. So it's bat, bat shnata. Yishtachach bat shnata shanim. It was two-year-old. So you know that it wasn't going to be. Uh, they see by the by the by the by the by the growth of the of the animal, right? Vedilma chatat shavrash nata. Maybe it's a chatat that already passed the year, and therefore since it passed the year, right, and it wasn't brought yet. Says the it's not shchiach, it's not common. So yishtakach by shnata mai. So what happens if you didn't find it that it's a one year old? So Tanya, we learned chanani min chachina yomer es bat shnata lechatat, and es bat shnata. It's also going to be for chatat. You do a chatat. So says the Gemara, you really think you're going to bring it as a chatat? You're going to do it as a chatat? And I'm going to buy a kichatat. It's like a chatat. You bring it into a place. You just let it die on its own. You let it die on its own. Because we don't know what's going on. So therefore, you just come, you bring it on its own, and therefore it's going to die on its own. And then we're going to learn. Is that the Shem for tomorrow?